Hello, people. This has been way, way overdue. And when I mean overdue, like this. Yeah, we're doing it. I'm so, 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 so sorry, people. But I had to do script after script. But I figured it out. You're gonna do a Lord of the Rings review? You gotta make sure it's the best. So I figured why not give it my all. And I am. Don't you worry there, people. Because we're gonna do the best Lord of the Rings review on this channel. And the only Lord of the Rings review. Enjoy. Hey everyone, this is Isaac Flores here today. And today we're gonna review the Lord of the Rings trilogy. And, well, what hasn't been said about Lord of the Rings? Well, let me tell you what has been said. This is one of the best films ever made. Oh, and um, Samantha, if you're watching this, <laughs> Aragon is a big Lord of the Rings slash Star Wars ripoff. So, Samantha, I am so sorry, but Aragon sucks deal with it sorry i just want to get that away i'm sorry girl hope you forgive me and uh yeah that's it so let's get on with the story the story is a thousand years ago well back in the middle ages of man where this is based off middle earth was made now this place had a bunch of these rings four were given to the elves the wisest out of all the people Seven were given to the dwarves, the masters of the mines. And nine were given to man, the most easily corrupted of people. But then one person decided to change it all by the easily corrupted man they named Saruman, the Dark Lord. As he will destroy us all if he gets the ring of power. And that's why it comes. Bilbo Baggins, the man who found the ring, decides that it's way too valuable for him to keep. So he decides to send his nephew? I really don't know who Frodo is but uh, when it comes to the family line. But I'm guessing Frodo's his nephew. I don't know. So Frodo and his best friend Samwise Gamgee and his other two friends Merry and Pippin go with this man by the name of Gandalf the Grey, later the White, um, Legolas, Aragorn, Gimli, and of course Sean Bean as Boromir. Also, that's the guy who dies. Spoiler alert! Sorry, but shit happens. So yeah, the movie's great and all, but when you watch it, you do realize that, well, of course it's great. Then you got the second one. Picking up where the last movie went off, Sam, uh, Frodo and Sam have decided to leave the Fellowship in order to go on to a bed, or in order to be by themselves to take the ring and throw it into the lava where it should be. The others, you know, the others need to do their stuff, but you know, it's all about us. We are a society. We are everything that needs to be happening. So Aragorn, Legolas, and Gimli, along with Ian McKellen as, of course, Gandalf the Grey, and the now white, go to the land of Rohan to stop it from being taken over by orcs. It's not even a subplot, but it does need mentioning. I had to drink some water. Anyways, the third movie of uh, Return of the King. It's fantastic, man. It's fantastic. Basically, this is all, it all ends with Return of the King. I got like the covers right here. Like, literally, these look awesome. This one looks the best because it's actually taken from the poster. You can see our one looking all like she's gonna do something when she doesn't. Just put that back. Put that back. Put on the keys. Put my mom in there. All right. What can you do? What can I see?
seriously, this is a fantastic song. Like, how can you not like this song? Unless you're an alien. Just like people who don't like bacon. So, is, Return is Lord of the Rings the best movie franchise ever? Probably. But that's up for you guys to pick. Comment down below if you think Lord of the Rings is the best movie franchise. And if you don't comment, what are you gonna do? Come, come at me, come at me, come at me, people, come at me. I'm right here. But hey, we all have mistakes. This is Isaac Flores telling you to have a nice day, have a nice weekend. Signing out. See you in two weeks because that's my cutoff date.